All right, uh, just starting back the micro conference with Ariel talking to us about PuzzleFS. Go. Hello, my name is uh, Ariel Mikula Strif. Uh, I work at Cisco, and uh, uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, bringing the PuzzleFS pieces together, uh, which uh, is about uh, the integration of PuzzleFS into uh, the container ecosystem. Um, I will start with uh, the PuzzleFS design goals. So uh, what we want uh, to achieve is reduce the application. Uh, we want to have uh, reproducible image build, direct mounting support, uh, uh, data integrity, uh, memory safety gu guarantees, uh, and last but not least, we want to have the same implementation in user space and kernel because uh, PuzzleFS uh, also comes with uh, a kernel driver. Uh, so what is PuzzleFS? It is an immutable file system, first of all, uh, and it shares design goals with the um, OCI version 2 proposal uh, brainstorm. It was uh, started by Ta Taiko Anderson, um, and um, the idea is to use content-defined chunking. We use the FastEDC algorithm, and we take, a, we take a file system and we split it into variable-sized chunks. And then, uh, when we are mounting the image, uh, PuzzleFS uh, has uh, uh, an image root file system which has all the metadata, and it knows uh, how to uh, read the file system, how to read the chunks, and uh, uh, assemble them back into uh, files that uh, uh, correspond to the original file system that was uh, built. And uh, what we want to do with PuzzleFS is uh, we want to integrate it into the greater ecosystem. Uh, so we want to be able to build PuzzleFS images easily, uh, similar to how Docker build uh, has a Docker file and uh, you can just run a, si a, simp a single command and uh, have a, a container, a container image. Uh, we also want to run LXE containers uh, which have the root file system backed by a PuzzleFS image. Um, also copy PuzzleFS images with existing tools, such as um, Scopeo, and integrate PuzzleFS into the OCI image standard. And uh, these goals are related because, uh, for example, um, if you want to run LXE containers, the LXE OCI template actually uses Scopeo to copy uh, an OCI image, and uh, in order for Scopio to be able to copy it, uh, it has to uh, follow the OCI image standard. So they, they all uh, uh, connect. Now let's uh, talk about uh, uh, a bit, uh, I, will show, I, will I will show you the OCI disk layout, uh, because it uh, is the same idea for OCI and uh, for PuzzleFS. Uh, there, uh, there is an uh, uh, index.json. It has the information uh, to relate uh, a tag. Uh, for example, when you say Ubuntu latest, uh, latest is uh, the tag. Uh, and then once you identify the tag, uh, everything else is inside this blobs SHA-256 directory. And everything is content defined, meaning that the name uh, of the file uh, is the same as the uh, SHA-256 uh, digest uh, of the contents. Let's move on to the image manifest. Uh, the OCI specification um, um, supports uh, a list, an array, an array of layers, and uh, each layer is uh, described uh, by a media type, by its size, and by uh, the digest. So uh, what the image manifest says is that the layers should be applied from uh, uh, in, a, in a specific order and then this is the way you, you get the final um, image for your root file system. PuzzleFS works a bit differently uh, in, in the sense that uh, it's not uh, a contained archive like uh, uh, TarFS uh, or like uh, TarBars and SquashFS and uh, EROFS, for example. So it actually has multiple files. 
um, we cannot just uh, simply um, define a list of players, but what uh, we can do is have all the data that PuzzleFest uses, the metadata and the chunks, and uh, stick this into the layers array and pretend uh, that everything is fine. So we're uh, abusing a bit the OCI image format, but in this way, um, tools, like Scop to tools like Scopio will be able to copy uh, images from one place to another. And here you can see that uh, we defined two new media types. Uh, the first one is uh, PuzzleFS image root, root FS, and uh, the second one is PuzzleFS image file data, which uh, defines, uh, which describes the, uh, the file chunks. And you can see there are multiple file chunks. One problem with this is that uh, if, if uh, the file system is too big, then this image manifest will, uh, will take up a lot of space. Uh, here is the PuzzleFS image format. Uh, in the top part, uh, we have the uh, index.json, which points to uh, the image manifest. This is, this is the OCI part, and you can see that uh, there are references to every blob uh, from the image manifest. And then we have the PuzzleFS image root file system, which uh, is in uh, Captain Proto format, and uh, this image also has all the references to the file chunks. Uh, the reason is that we want to be able to mount uh, a PuzzleFS image in the kernel, and we don't have to. We don't want to deal with JSON, and we also want to uh, have a performant uh, file system. And here you can see that. Uh, you can have files that uh, have multiple uh, data chunks, uh, or you can have multiple files with, uh, which share uh, a single uh, data chunks. So um, this all depends on the, on the way that uh, the content-defined chunking alg algorithm uh, generated this, uh, uh, these blobs. Next, I will, I will show how to build the PuzzleFS image um, with, with the existing tooling. So first of all, uh, we oh, can... So, uh, sorry, sorry. Oh, can I ask a question? Sorry about the previous slide. Yeah, sure. um, uh, I just out of interest, so um, uh, one of the problems that, that I was struggling with when we were doing the OCI v2 discussion stuff was um, the uh, PuzzleFS has like a canonical format, right? Like if you generate the same for the same root file system, you'll end up with the same result, right? Yes. Okay. So the thing, the thing I wonder is, so with um, with hard links, how do you deal with hard links? Like, is it is it like, uh, we generate the same inodes. Okay. So, the so like there is a, there is a, like the, there um, it's all it's all uh, indexed by inode number then, right? Yes. Okay. Right. And so if you had, uh, okay. And then so that if you had different file systems, then like the inode numbers would be okay. Right. Yes. Uh, of course, this is. Uh, this is, it is only reproducible if you use one single layer into uh, in uh, the PuzzleFS image because right now PuzzleFS supports multiple layers, uh, which it's it's not clear if this is a good idea uh, or we want to have a single layer uh, in PuzzleFS. But the idea was that when we when we we are building the image, um, then maybe it would be useful to. Uh, build it incrementally, but that, that's still something to uh, to discuss and get feedback on. Uh, okay, let's move. Let's move on. So, uh, the first step here, if you want to build a PuzzleFS image, let's uh, let's say you want uh, an Ubuntu uh, file system, uh, Ubuntu root file system. First of all, you create a directory, then you copy the image with Scopio, and uh, you, un you unpack it with uh, uh, Umochi. And then once you have the uh, root file system uh, on uh, a directory in the file system, then you, uh, you can use PuzzleFS. Uh, first of all, you, you can install it with uh, Cargo, since uh, this is a Rust, uh, uh, it, is, it is implemented in Rust. 
So uh, after you, you've installed it, you can, uh, you can build it and you give it, you give it the source uh, root file system and then you give it the destination um, and also the tag. And these are separated by column. It's uh, similar to how other tools work. And then uh, we can create an LXC container. Uh, here we use the uh, OCI, the existing OCI template, um, which was extended initially for uh, supporting ATMFS, which uh, is um, a related project uh, which uses SquashFS uh, layers, basically, instead, instead of uh, uh, tarball layers. Uh, so, um, and, uh, anyway, this, uh, this will only work after the LXC patch uh, uh, is, um, is merged, because I, uh, I, sent, uh, I sent a pull request uh, for <laughs> supporting PuzzleFS uh, images. Uh, so, uh, we can use this template, which ca we, can, um, um, we can create uh, the container, and here you see we pass it, uh, we pass it a mount helper, uh, which, which is the PuzzleFS uh, overlay mount helper. This, um, this is because PuzzleFS is a read-only file system. So if, if uh, we want to use it with uh, LXC, we need a writable uh, root file system. So we need to create an overlay for this. And then uh, after uh, running this command, LXC will generate this config, which uh, has a, an LXC pre-mount hook, uh, which will call the mount helper that we just specified in the template. So before, uh, before starting the container, it will uh, uh, do the uh, PuzzleFS uh, Im image mount. And uh, this is uh, the overlay mount helper, uh, which basically, uh, calls uh, PuzzleFS uh, mount, um, and then it uses this mount as a loader in the uh, overlay. Um, and then we can mount an overlay uh, uh, file system onto the um, uh, LXE root file system. And um, the next steps are um, we want to integrate this with Stacker. Stacker is an open source uh, uh, project that uh, creates uh, uh, OCI images. Um, and it uses a Stacker file, which is very similar to a Docker file. And as you can see here, it, uh, here is a very simple uh, Stacker file in YAML format. Uh, and you can say from, uh, from this URL, um, get me the image and then run these following steps and then it will generate an OCI image. And the idea is to add, add support for also building PuzzleFS images uh, with Stacker. So it's, uh, it will be easier to, uh, to build an, an image like this. Um, that's it, do you have any questions? Um, yeah, I, so I wanted to ask, um, so one of the things that uh, you mentioned, which is the, the whole layering thing. Um, uh, okay, so like the, the original, uh, when we were discussing this idea um, ages ago, the idea I had was that it would be, you would have, um, uh, obviously this doesn't, because of, because of the constraints you have of like faking everything in the config, this wouldn't look exactly like this, but the idea would be that um, you would have uh, it would just be like you would have a snapshot and then uh, bec because uh, so la the purpose of layers when it comes to container images is like they emit their pr one use is for deduplication. The other use is for um, build caching where if you have a build um, uh, and you want to have a build like if you have like a shared base that you're building from you want to be this so that it's easy to tell that that's the base you're building from um, and that's the way that layers was the way that they did it because then you could have, well, obviously if, if you can just say, okay, um, you can go down and you can see which ones you already have and then you don't have to rebuild them effectively. Um, the, with the snapshot model, I, it, in theory, it wouldn't be necessary because um, now it depends precisely on, on um, 
on how copying would work and so on and so on. But um, the the short version is that um, it seems to me like it should be possible to just to just use snapshots with a single layer and uh, with sorry with with no layers when it comes to like the image format just, just description. And uh, obviously for implementation details. Maybe you need to have layers because um, because these are all blobs now. So maybe you do need to have um, layers. Oh god. <sighs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So how it works now is we rely on the um, uh, chunking algorithm to uh, generate basically the same chunks if we have a similar enough image. So if you start with a with an Ubuntu root file system and you add some files, for example, uh, and uh, then you can independently run uh, PuzzleFS build on both uh, uh, on both version one and version two, and the resulting blobs will uh, will be uh, shared. In the majority of them will be shared. Uh, right, right. So the, the issue is like if you had um, one of the problems with the layer design is if you have a layer that has a ten gig file and then in the next in the next layer you. Okay, touching it is, is fixed because of the chunking thing, but if you delete it, the image still has the, because it's layered, it still has the file in it. Uh, now, I, I don't know if um, when you actually represent it, is it all flat or? Well, so the, the idea is to, to have a single layer in PuzzleFS. Like in the final image, we only, only want a, a single layer. Right, but so you wouldn't, so wouldn't want to have, um, so, so like, uh, uh, but so the goal would not be, sorry, because I'm trying to see, is the goal that you would have that all the build servers and everything would use PuzzleFS natively, or is it you would build the image normally, and then you would end up with a puzzle fish image, puzzle fish image at the end? Because um, I guess those are two different um, requirements. I'm not sure I understand. So, so like, yeah. here. I, I think there is two use cases. One is the fast iteration that you were talking about. The other one is shipping to prod. I think it's pretty clear, at least to me, maybe not to everyone else, that sh in shipping to prod, the more you can canonicalize, the better sharing you get, right? That right. seems obvious. But there is some like step where you go from, oh, I did fast iteration. Now I want to build the actual canonical image okay. that I'm going to upload to Prod. Right, and it's so this the format supports both actually. But it, as Ariel said, it, it's unclear that that's a good idea. Okay. It's just an artifact of exploration, basically. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so the implementation allows for layers if if we want them. It's not clear when we would uh, want them. Yeah. I, it's yeah. I think um, it seems like if 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 it was embedded deeply enough in OCI, it would be possible to make it so that both work. But I think that because you have all these other restrictions, I think in practice, the just ship to prod is like the thing people would actually want to use. Even though, like in theory, it seems like you could make it work for both nicely. I, I like we would need to add it to the spec, and then because of the registry problem, we wouldn't be able to ship it anywhere. So um, you, like you would you would need to like embed this very like. I like it, by the way. I'm, I'm not saying it's just I'm thinking like if we wanted to, for it to be perfect, I think, um, yeah, yeah. I, I think, I think, I think perfect is the canonical format. I think like yeah, that's yeah. the thing that everybody actually cares about. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so of of course we can. Well, well we can ditch the layers. All right. We're almost five minutes out of time, so we need to need to move on to the next thing. Sorry. Thank you. Thanks a lot.